Hey guys, RTT back here for that video, guys. Today, we'll be taking a look at Ratio Launcher for the Surface Duo. Now, this is called the Productivity Launcher, and obviously, this is a pod productivity device, so it only goes hand in hand. I've tried to launch this on this device like seven times, and every single time it has glitched out and not worked. So I'm hoping this time it will actually go ahead and work, and we can figure this out correctly. So starting off right away, we have English, get started. Let's do that. We can choose our wallpaper. I'm going to choose a light wallpaper for this time. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and choose our application. So we got, uh, I'm going to use Amazon. I'll use a uh, calculator here. Um, let's use ca calendar to choose a random application uh, clock and I guess I'll do game pass click on next now we have our different uh, categories we can create let's go ahead and do that create all of our categories hit next again and grant permission um, I shall just skip past that one all right and let's go with our new home so that's default uh ratio and this is where it kind of gets glitchy let's hope this actually works okay and it actually works so this is kind of where i know on the sides here the reason why is because i technically speaking would have to before I launched this, I would have to go ahead and get rid of the whole right hand side. But this is what the ratio looks like. So we have productivity, mobility, messaging, creativity, entertainment, games, finances, social, and lifestyle. So productivity is all my productivity apps. Uh, mobility is obviously weather, that kind of stuff. We do have all my messaging right here. Creativity uh, right there. We have entertainment okay and honestly speaking wise you can't have this horizontal it can only go vertical which is really in my opinion a downs thing i don't like that i'd rather if you could have it be you know uh horizontal personally but i understand the concept the concept is they want you to go ahead and swipe up and down with the device just like this so that's the point and obviously if you had this if we do this in phone mode so let's see what phone mode looks like oh wow um okay you know what actually phone mode it, it's kind of glitchy right overall oh my god this is actually really glitchy in phone mode okay hang on one second guys let me go ahead and cover the screen uh while i put my password in but honestly in phone mode it's a little glitchy, I'll admit. Okay. This is really weird right now. Alright, this is glitching out a little bit. Let's go ahead and pull this back up for you guys. In phone mode, it's not too bad. In phone mode, it actually can only go horizontally. You can't go vertically in phone mode. But... I mean, other than like looking at this right here, the very top, I will say you can't see productivity, but you can see everything else and you can go ahead and actually use everything else here. You can use all the games, uh, finances, all that kind of stuff. You can use it all without any issue, even if you are in phone mode, which I kind of do like personally. So I will say, I mean, in phone mode, it's actually kind of interesting. Obviously, what you want to use it for is going to be in full mode vertically looking at this i didn't see that there was games right there but i mean you know it kind of reminds me of in a way it's like first off it is a very clean and flush look and i do like that about this i will say that it is really very nice is the simplicity of it and if they were to make this more compatible i'd say or more you know made for the surface duo i think they could really have an interesting market when it comes to launchers because keeping everything simple and simplified to that left hand side like that 
it just looks so clean and nice and like i said i didn't i should have deleted the applications on the right hand side here and there's also another way to avoid those applications but as you guys can see that i do have them on the bottom here i have my uh, all my applications i want so i want to use my calculator i have that all set up and okay you know what actually it actually looks kind of cool at the top there oh no okay I, th I was wondering if you could still get the bottom to show up all the top part but you can't all right so that kind of does suck um but overall it you still get all the stuff you need at the bottom you get all your stuff you need at the top i would give this a w i think this is actually a pretty good launcher now i think like i said before it took me seven times to get to the point of making this video where i'm showing off this launcher so keep that in mind you know all the times that it failed and it didn't work for me and then finally it does work for me and it's still a little glitchy like i said but overall i think out of 10 i'm gonna definitely get this launcher probably a solid 6.5 out of 10 um the idea is there the simpl simplicity is there and the design is nice but everything else i gotta give it probably a 6.5 Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.